Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Sorry it's been a while, um, I've been slightly busy moving salon and everything. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a really effective neon butterfly um, using Blackpool CND shellac and Cream Puff CND shellac as well as the Lacente neon shadows. To draw my butterfly I'm actually using the Lacente D2 brush. You could use the D1, I find it slightly larger, but the D1 has got such a fine point on the brush which allows you to get really detailed. So to begin with, we are going to apply two coats of black horse CND shellac and cure each layer for one minute in the new CND LED lamp or for two minutes in the old CND UV lamp. Then we're going to finish it with top coat and cure again for one minute or two minutes depending on what lamp you're using. And then the really important part is we're going to remove the inhibition layer. Once we've removed the inhibition layer, we're going to take some cream puff and decant it into a thumb palette or onto a tile. And we're going to want to draw our butterfly. So to speed this up a little bit, I've started already drawing the basic outline of my butterfly. And I have got one that's already completed. So here's one that's already been completed and I've cured that for one minute in the LED lamp. So just basically show you quickly how to fill this in. So you want to fill all this butterfly in with your cream puff. Make sure you've got good solid coverage. And you can go in and you can tweak the beauty of this. If you make a mistake, you can just literally take a cotton pad saturated with some isopropyl alcohol or some disperse. And you can wipe it off. So it's all nice and clean. Dry, and you can start again. So you can wipe off the whole thing or you can, if you've got a brush, you can actually saturate your brush with the isopropyl alcohol and you can remove it that way for the detailed area. So I'm just going to start drawing my outline on my top wing. doesn't matter if it goes a little bit wonky because we can go in and add more. So you just want to get your basic outline in first. And think about how a butterfly looks while it's in flight and that's the sort of shape that you're aiming for. So you would just go in and fill all this in and then cure it for two minutes in the end of the UV lamp or for one minute in the LED lamp. So as I said, here's one I've already completed. And the next thing we're going to need is a really soft brush. So you could use the um, new Lucente glitter brush. I want to use something slightly smaller. So I'm actually using an old soft brush. And as you can see, I've got all my neons out in front of me. So I'm going to go into my yellow first and into the cured inhibition layer I'm just going to burnish some of my neon yellow not all the way down because I'm going to be fading this next colour just brush off any excess and then I'm going to go into the orange I'm going to burnish a bit of orange and you can fade the orange in and up into the yellow. Again, wipe off any excess colour. Tap off if you've dropped any anywhere before you pick up your next colour. So my next colour I think will be my pink because pink and orange go well together. And then I'm going to burnish that down into that bottom wing, cover a little bit more. Wipe off my excess. I'm gonna pick up some blue. I want the blue right down at the bottom of that wing tip. And then I'm gonna bring this blue up over the pink.
and then on the bottom of his body. I'm going to brush off that blue and I'm going to go back into the pink because what I want to try and create here is a bit of a purple fade. And then finally, after I've wiped my brush off, I'm going to go into the green and put some green on the other end. And just pour my green down over some of that yellow as well. And then I'm going to take the fan brush from the original Lucente brush collection and I'm just going to wipe off any excess powder that may be hanging around. Don't worry too much if you see any over the black because once we've applied our top coat that will disappear. So I'm just going to grab my top coat. See what I mean in a second. So make sure that we've got a nice amount of top coat on our brush. We're going to apply a generous amount of top coat over the surface of this now, and you can see where the green was showing up the top of that nail. As soon as I apply the top coat over the whole thing, it disappears. And once we've done that, we're going to cure that in the LED lamp for one minute, or we're going to cure it for two minutes in the UV lamp. And that's your neon butterfly, which really stands out against the blackboard background. So I'm just going to pop that one in the lamp. Now, another thing that you can do with these, which is really good, instead of using the neon pigments, is you can move on and use the iridescent Vicente glitters. So like the same process that we've just done for the um, butterfly using the black pool in the cream puff, I've flipped it and reversed it and done it the other way around. So I have cream puff, two layers of cream puff, cured, top coated, cured, removed my inhibition layer from the top coat and then I've gone in and applied black pool for my butterfly and I've actually got out some iridescent glitters and I'm using indigo blue. So I'm going to go into my butterfly using indigo and as you can see when I put that over the black it really stands out. And then I've got some petrol green. I've got some white holographic. So there's a nice goldy sort of sheen it as well and then I've got some what's this one black current so I'm going to put some black current iridescent in there as well and then I've also got some pink holographic I'm now going to go and show that top part of the room. And then I've got some what is this? purple holographic. So you can really mix in your colours, mix your colours up, play around with it however you want your butterfly to look. And then finally I'm going to go back in with some black colour over a little antenna. Now what you could do I'm just going to move this green off my brush. I'm going to go into my pink neon. Again, using my fan brush, move the 
And then I'm gonna come into my yellow. I'm gonna put the yellow on the bottom. And again, apply my top coat. So it's going to subtly change the colour of the white background. And then we're going to have this pop of glitter for our butterfly wings. The new Express 5 top coat does have a slightly greeny yellow tinge to it because of the new components that are within the product. So don't be concerned if you're, when you're putting it over the top of your white, it comes out with a slightly funny colour because that's normal. So then we're going to cure that again in the LED lamp for two minutes, um, one minute sorry, and two minutes in the UV lamp. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below if there's anything that you want me to show you, any other designs that you'd like to see or anything else that you'd like me to do for you. Hopefully it won't be so long till the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.